Good morning, we've been sold. In a big story for the entertainment world, the cable company Comcast has agreed to acquire NBC Universal from General Electric. The price tag? $30 billion. The deal gives the cable operator a huge supply of programs. Comcast said it will help it provide the anytime, anywhere content that consumers are demanding. Brian Stelter is covering the story. We spoke just a while ago about what this deal says about the future of television. And now sometimes these big deals like AOL Time Warner, for instance, don't really work out. Is there an expectation that there'll be bumps along the way or, or do they, uh, the parties There's a lot be of pretty people on Wall Street who are, who are wondering and, yeah. and who have been uh, skeptical in the past few months as rumors of this deal came mm. out. Now, uh, now Comcast all day today has said this is not Time Warner. This is not a repeat of what's happened in the past decade. This is all about cable channels. We want to own more cable cable channels. And certainly cable channels have proved to be a very appealing business, probably the most appealing business for the media right now, for any media company to be in because they get two uh, revenue sources, advertising and subscription fees. So Comcast is looking at this very optimistically today and saying it's a, a pro-consumer deal. But it's going to be a long time before we'll know whether it was advantageous both for Comcast and for GE. A cable company buying a network, what does this say about the future of television entertainment? It really speaks to the idea that broadcast fortunes are dwindling and that cables are really growing. The idea that national broadcasting company will now be owned by a cable company, I think is a real a moment to step back and realize that it no longer matters whether it's a broadcast channel over the air or a cable channel through a pipe. Most consumers don't notice the difference and certainly Comcast is showing that today. I have to wonder a few years from now if it'll even be called NBC anymore. And that'll be a real, another a step forward toward this idea that everything's just another channel. There's really no difference anymore between broadcast and cable. Brian, great story. Thank you so much. Thank you.